Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. So this morning we are taking a little trip into Middletown, New Jersey. Uh, there is a rummage sale. I have never been to this one. Uh, this one's a little bit of a trek. It's about 1.5 hours. <laughs> 1.5 hours. I don't know why I said it like that. It's about an hour and a half. <laughs> um, so anyway, but I have an audiobook loaded up and ready. Um, I love listening to audiobooks on longer trips like this. It really makes the time go so much faster. Um, and I really enjoy the drive in Jersey anyway, so not a big deal. But, um, yeah, so I am listening to, I just downloaded, um, in case you guys care, I just downloaded the Julia Fox um, memoir, I guess you want to call it, a memoir. Um, she is the one who was briefly romantically linked to Kanye West. So, and I've, I've actually seen little snippets of her like at first I thought she was kind of like ditzy and everything else and then I saw snippets from I think I want to say the Kelly Clarkson show um never watched the show but I saw snippets on Instagram and I actually think she's kind of funny and interesting and I think she's very smart so yeah I'm going to um listen to this book and see how it is it's really got um it's got some good reviews so yeah should be interesting and I just finished up with Crystal Hefner's uh, book about her time at the Playboy Mansion which I found kind of fascinating because I never really followed anything with the Playboy Mansion or anything like that but um, I heard about her book also saw a little snippet of an interview with her and I really wanted to check it out and it was actually very very good so um, if you any of you guys do like audiobooks or even read regular books um, I think that one was a good one to um, to read so anyhow that's my book review for the day we are on the road let's get to this rummage sale All right, we are in
precious moments stopping. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> Sugartown Post Office. Sugartown does actually sell for me. I might, I might get that. This, is, this one's marked now. That one's made in China. And what are these? Arabia, Finland? Heck yeah. 25 for the box. Oh yeah, baby. You got that right. I'm getting that box. Can I leave this somewhere? Okay. So this is are you you're buying this yes. now? Okay. Well I'm gonna I'm gonna I wanna look, still look looking? around, okay. but this is dishes in my underneath that table or need Tina okay want to shop that's my bag and then the dishes are underneath it okay. thank you that one's super heavy so <laughs> wow that is exciting It's actually very pretty. For two dollars, you can really get that. All right, back to this area. Holy moly! The heavy pewter. They're hollow. Google Pixel Stand. Oh, that's like a phone charger type thing. Sugar Town. Piece collection. It's all in here. Oh, I'm just gonna grab it. Who's this guy. Made an old Japan. This feels like it's in here. I'm gonna get it. Put it up with my other stuff. Oh, I have it. I'm gonna put this with my other. 
stuff that I have so far. I'm sure there are a couple snow babies that do well, but I'm not going to stand there and look them all up. I'm going to take a look over here. Over and back, yellow wear. Milk. It's very poorly transferred on there. are very deep, or not deep, very thick. Mm -hmm. 
some special place made in China. And a lot of cleaning because it's winter. You don't oh, mind. No, no, I'm no. sorry. Go right ahead. I'm just gonna put them in my this stuff in my bag. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a neat ice bucket. Is that an ice bucket? Yeah. I don't know. Sponge acts. That's interesting. This is that's a neat. Yeah. It's a neat it's kind of cute, like looking, right? Yeah, it is. I did. Still looking. Still looking. This is super cute. Little family. Some of this Peru stuff goes well. I don't know about this piece. I look at book ends. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Some kind of a chair, maybe. I want to try all of these, but now. Golf clubs. This looks like a cane. I'm sorry. I'm going to go over there and look. I'm on the wrong side here. Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah? Excuse me? Excuse me? We don't appear to have any clothes or shoes here. Oh, geez, your boss is here. We're looking for you for your thing. I have people. No? Yes, I did. I love you. Thank you. Ooh. You bought it. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's an empty case. Oh, Americana apparel. Smart TV glasses. Are they even in here? They are. I don't have nothing about these. But for 50 cents, maybe I'll check it out. Yes. Case. I'm sorry, I'm making you go back. 
Sunshade. I think I might take a chance on that too. I don't really have much knowledge on it, but I think I'm going to get it. Find the treats. Oh, my boys are pros at that kind of thing. Pet pajamas. What size are these? Oh my goodness, these are a dollar. I have to get these. This says mystery items. That's like a waterproof, um, like GoPro kind of case. Kind of neat. And some extra little um, attachments. That's like, I don't know what that thing is. That's not a real ball, that's a fake. So I don't know if that would fit. But these little screws alone, I could use for a dollar. Oops, drop something. Logitech speakers, water shoes for women. That just for little screw thingies. I'm gonna put this in my bag. It's like SpongeBob's house. Cognetics. The massager type thing. I don't know how I'm going to carry those dishes out of here. Crazy. But I want to take a little bit of a deeper dive. Travel hair dryer. You could probably use that. Most places have hair dryers, so. Most like hotels and stuff. A lot of hair dryers. I do like to have backups. This is some kind of a wax kit. Over one dollar. Yellow light hair removal. One dollar. Let me put that in my, in my other bag. I am filling up with all kinds of random stuff. It's a nice little waste basket. All right. Sorted hardware for drapes and curtains. All right, I think I'm gonna go get mine soon. I think I'm about done. My bags are getting quite large, quite full. We'll take one more trip down this aisle, see what we have. Hershey's Kisses ornament. This, is, this looks like maybe a little nativity set or something. Mm -hmm. I might 
get that little mystery set for a dollar. Pop that in my bag. Oops. Meet the flakes. Gingerbread string lights. Oh wow, they're really cute. I think my mom would like those. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, my bags are getting really big. It's hard to move. There's a spode piece that was in with the uh, the other bag before. Holiday and kept to bread. See the brand on that. Martha Stewart. Oh, there's a this is a plain one, but I'm gonna get it. It's fifty cents. I'm gonna look at this Martha Stewart rug. It's actually very pretty for the holidays. I think I'm gonna get this. Save it for next year. Can't go wrong with a five dollar rug. Sonoma, 60 inch round tablecloth. Okay. I think I'll get that. $2. I wonder if these are branded. It's cut off, whatever it was. It's like a table runner. It's very, very pretty. $5. Not branded. Oops. I'm gonna fold this up a little. These. This is like drapes or something. Tablecloths, lace, and all kinds of stuff in here. Hard to tell what all is in here. Okay, guys, so we're going to do a quick recap of that rummage sale. I don't know how quick it's going to be. I did get a lot of stuff. So, first thing, I'm not going to haul in the entire set, but I did get a set of Arabia Finland uh, Karalia. This, um, I believe, is service for 12. I could be wrong, it may be 10 which is kind of an odd number. You usually see it like eight, 12, sometimes six, sometimes four, but 10 is, 10 is kind of an odd number, but I do have to count the pieces, but it's in pretty 
pretty good shape for $25. You can't beat it. I love finding Arabia Finland. So yeah, uh, that's that. So yeah, that was $25 for that set. I did spend a total of $95 for everything at this sale. Okay, so this right here, I think may have been a bad pickup. I thought it was super cute. This little nativity. Uh, I don't even know if all the pieces are in here. I decided to take a chance for a dollar. Um, this is the little marking uh, on the back of it. I will have to unpack everything and see if it's all in here but i i don't think that's gonna bring even if it is like a complete nativity i think it's gonna be like 10 15 dollars. i don't think it's gonna be anything crazy um also this gal i don't think she's gonna be anything crazy but she does still have her original tag she's a qbc exclusive precious moments are not hot sellers by any means but i just thought she was really cute the stocking is really cute um yeah, so I'm going to say probably about $15 for her. Uh, this. This this I love. This, this is like one of my favorite things. And if I had a lamp to put this on, I would keep this. I love this. I did a quick Google search, and I think it's kind of like a boutique-y type thing. I think that this actually did come on a lamp. It wasn't just sold separately. Um, I do have to look into it a little bit more. Let's see what I'm going to sell it for. That's the top of it. So it's got to be like that style of lamp where the finial kind of twists off and you put it on top. But yeah, I just, I love this. I absolutely love this lampshade. Um, these, I also need to look into a little bit more, but for a dollar. I mean, I just grabbed a lot of stuff. I've never heard of this type of vacuum, so we'll see. I don't pick up a lot of vacuum bags, but for a dollar, you know, at a rummage, I just, I go all out. Uh, another thing I did pick up is this flag, this American flag for $3. Looks like it's probably new in box. I didn't unfold it or anything, but it's got like some marks, but probably from from storage or whatever. It's got the paperwork and stuff in here. I can get it closed again. That's gonna take a minute. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed this rummage sale. Uh, this is a 60 inch round Williams Sonoma tablecloth. I will have to open that up, make sure it doesn't have any stains or anything. Williams Sonoma tablecloths you know, you can get 30 to $40 for those, sometimes more depending. This brand I have to look up, this was $2. It's like a little tiny bud vase. Holohaza, <laughs> probably saying that wrong, Hungary. Uh, anyhow, I figured why not? We'll give that one a, a shot. This puzzle ball puzzle I picked up uh, because I have sold these before these like round like 3d puzzles of you know the the world globe dollar that's all that was some things weren't marked most things were but like i said it was a total of 95 including those dishes this right here uh still has the tags a hooked rug i thought this was really nice for five dollars i'm actually going to keep this and probably use it in my kitchen next next Christmas. Came from Kohl's, I believe. Touchstone crystal. I love, love, love finding this stuff. This is this is beautiful. This uh this necklace. It's so pretty. Oh, I don't know if you can even see that. And I can't really move too far with all this crap around me. This, I just think this is so beautiful. I can't wait to list this. So beautiful. Uh, okay. And then I picked these up. These are acorn ornaments from Pottery Barn. It says Pottery Barn Kids. Not sure why. Kids don't decorate. Um, <laughs> I mean, I guess you could decorate a kid's room with these. So we'll see. We'll see what I get for those. 
Um, I did pick up these Lennox Butterfly Meadow mugs. There's a $10 sticker on here, but I think that may have been from a yard sale because I don't think she charged me $10 for these. So Butterfly Meadow, as I've mentioned before, um, is pretty darn saturated, but these are a little bit different. These have all like the different colors at the top. Um, these will do a little bit better than just the, the plain ones. Just the plain Butterfly Meadow pattern. So there are pieces in the Butterfly Meadow pattern that I will pick up. This I decided to pick up for a dollar. Um, and honestly, it looks like it may be new, but maybe just the little um, little peels came off. So, little sticker seals or whatever. Oh, yeah. This absolutely does look... It does. It looks new to me. It's got like... These are all in the pack still. I mean, I could be wrong. I am going to have to check it out a little bit more. Oh, maybe it does have one installed. Um, I don't know. I am going to list it, you know, obviously as open and used or whatever, because I really don't know if it's been used or not. I'm going to check the cord. Sometimes... Um, it's very clean. Sometimes if the cord is still wrapped up. Oh yeah. I don't think this has ever been used. I might, I might do new open box because that cord is still factory like tied up and everything and in the plastic. So yeah, this is pretty sweet. And I mean, it's got like the paperwork and everything like that. So that is not bad. That is not bad at all for a dollar. That is not bad at all. Sometimes you really just have to think out of the box at these sales and just think, what can I make a profit on? Like a good profit on, and I will make a good profit on this. Um, I mean, even if it, even if that was used, I'd still make a good profit at a dollar price point. Okay, this I have sold before. Uh, it has been a while though. This is a, um, this is Precious Moments. It is the Sugar Town, the Sugar Town version, which I have purchased before and sold before. And it is, it is complete as the box advertises. I mean, it has been used to cord is a little dirty by the light and you I mean you can tell it's been used but yeah that is okay that will still that will still sell decently so I am I'm excited about that too I really found so much great stuff at this sale I can't believe it uh this one right here ooh, that stuff is moving around where's my other bag there it is had my, my Ikea backpack. This fell out of the box. This one, this one I thought was pretty nice. We'll see. This is going to, this is going to be one of those, you know, I don't know how it's going to do. It's like the Bellina bowl. I think it's pretty, pretty beautiful. Um, you almost can't tell that the flowers are white till you get like up close. It's like frosted. Sometimes I take a chance with Lennox items. Okay, final, final bag here. I could not believe it. This, this was crazy to me that this Google thermostat was still sitting there. I must have looked around for 10, 15 minutes before I came across this. Brand new and sealed. I cannot believe that it was still sitting there. This, I love finding these. It's usually a quick flip or this is going to be a great, great profit on this, on this bad boy. So, so stoked about that. Uh, this right here, this said make offer on it. She ended up charging me like $5. Um, 
And this will have to be investigated a little more. I will have to see like what parts are here because I can't really tell. It's a transcription set. But a quick look up at the sale showed me that these can sell for really good money. Really, really good money. So I do have to look into the parts in here a little bit more and see what I'm working with. But I think that was a great pickup for sure. Here is a Lennox vase. It's just got some roses, some flowers, some cutouts on it. There is no pattern name attached to that. So I will have to do a little bit more research. This is a pack of two Spode mugs with that candy cane handle. Uh, I had these, I believe I had three of them individually boxed, brand new in box from that Christmas sale. They were selling for $25 a piece. Um, I sold them all back in December, I believe, maybe some in January. Just a 65XL ink for a dollar. It is expired, but only by a couple months. It expired in October. Um, I, I sell expired ink. It still sells. It still works. Um, I mean, you might come across one or two that doesn't, but that can happen even when it's not expired. But I have never had a problem with expired ink working. Uh, this, I think, is so cute. Little uh, Fuzz Yard Pet Pajamas, size three. So I think that this will fit my boys. My boys are smaller, but they're a little chunky. Oh yeah, size three, Pug, that's that's them. Pug Poodle, Scottish Terrier, West Highland Terrier, and a Cavoodle. I don't know what a Cavoodle is, but anyhow, Crumb wears pajamas sometimes and he looks super cute in them. Oh, do I keep this? Does Crumb need another set of pajamas? I think he might. I mean, we're gonna be coming into spring soon and then he won't, but man, these are just so cute. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I'm going to sell this or if I'm going to give it to Crumb, but I'm probably going to give it to Crumb. Um, all right. This is a rather plain Bath and Body Works silver snowflake candle holder, but these always sell for me. Not for a crazy amount, but they do sell and they sell pretty fast. These are, I think these are both the same. They are the same model number, Samsung 3D active glasses. I have to look and see, I think, yeah, I mean, these are both open, so they're probably used. Uh, 50 cents a piece though. These have an original price tag of $49.97. So they work with, I guess, a Samsung, Samsung smart TV. I will have to look into those a little more. Lastly, I grabbed this little, what they labeled as a mystery item. So this little mystery item, is really not gonna be of use to me. It looks like it might fit a GoPro, but I, I think it actually fits this. This is some kind of very generic GoPro style camera. And I am sure that, I'm sure the quality is horrible on this. But anyhow, what I can use from this and why I picked it up, as I said in the video, is because of these screws. And I lose these a lot, but they hook your GoPro, hook my GoPro to like my, uh, my various mounts that I have. And there are more of these in the bag. So this was a great pickup for a dollar just for these little, um, little screws. So yeah. So yeah, I think that is it then. Uh, like I said, aside from all that dinnerware that I'm not hauling in here. So yeah, $95 and I think I have a fantastic haul. Um, I am super excited about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This was one heck of a rummage sale. I am stoked for the season to be starting. So um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Uh, thumbs up if you've liked this video. Comment, let me know what your favorite item was. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload and until next time bye